Welcome back to episode 2 of The American Empire. If you don't watch this series already, this is a series where we're playing through Empire Total War as the United States of America and attempting to conquer the world. In the last episode, the first episode, um, Great Britain and Spain fought a pretty, pretty bloody war and Spain lost very quickly, freeing pretty much all its colonies. As you can see here, this is Mexico, its own independent nation now. And Florida, not having a nation, fell into anarchy. So, we swept in with General Sullivan and captured Florida pretty quickly. We also took advantage of the fact that the Cherokee had no allies with any other nation and honestly kind of looked like they were about ready to strike at us. So we took full advantage of that and we attacked, capturing the Kaintuck territory from them and almost eliminating all of their military forces in one battle. So, in this episode, we're going to continue the fight and press on to take the Cherokee territory. Um, but first, we're going to let this army heal up a little bit from the battle. I think they only took about 100 casualties to the enemy's nearly 2,000. So let's see what we can upgrade in between then. Mm. Actually, we're going to hold on to the money that we have. Those British forces in Canada still make me a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Uh, just because they're still not exactly happy with us, because, you know, we fought a whole war with them. Right. This army should only take one more turn to be healed up and ready to go. Let's see what's this iron workshop? We'll upgrade that. And this is the meeting hall. All right, I guess it stays. Let's upgrade the roadways here. No part of money again. What's going on with our taxes right now? Well, we're only playing in about 5,000. I guess I spent it all on upgrading that iron workshop. Alright, I guess it's time, as you can see here, the army is back at full health. So, let the fight begin. I don't anticipate this battle to last very long, although they do have more troops than us. Most of them are armed tribesmen, which is kind of like a last minute militia. They, uh... They won't be able to take very many volleys before they break. I think this time we're actually going to go on the offensive. 
So we're going to find a hill to put our cannon up on. I think right here will be a good spot for one. Put them a little bit more forward, actually. Right along there. Actually, both cannons are going to go right along there like that. Put my howitzer back there. And we're going to leave the 1st Regiment of Minutemen to defend them. Our main line is going to have the first or the third regiment of foot, the first Delaware, in the center. Followed by two units of light infantry on each side. And then followed by another two units of grenadiers. And then line infantry on the ends with a, uh, inf with a unit of line infantry in reserve. Actually, this unit is gonna stay back with the cannon. Along with our general in the rear and our cavalry holding up the back of that line. Begin marching them forward. I actually want you guys to move on the double. Devastating volley right there. Down to nine horsemen already. Cavalrymen. My bad. There's four. Yep. It's done for that unit. Same with this one. Completely annihilated. Devastating volley right there. Wow. Look at that. I actually took a fair amount of casualties here. 23 men. Wow. Fire range down. I believe we just wiped out all their cavalry. But I think this is only their armed mob here. I believe they're. The rest of their forces are probably hiding back here. Which makes me a little bit nervous. And here they come. Well, there'll be a lot of casualties right here in this charge. Yeah.
most of them aren't even reaching our lines before. Yeah, oof. I don't know where these guys think they're going. I want y'all to charge them. I think I found their... You know what? These guys are left over from the last battle. That's why there's so few of them. We're going to turn our cannons to fire on these guys. Put them back in formation. As well as them. Wouldn't be surprised if all these units uh, uh, got back and attacked again. So as you can see, this unit did, because they suffered very light casualties. Wow, what happened? I missed it. They're already down to 85. They had 124 just a second ago. Yeah, the battle's, the battle's already over. This is the only active unit on the field right now. At least the only active unit I can see on the field. And they, uh... They only have 69 to our... Well, a thousand men. Even if I committed to a charge and sacrificed a bunch of my men, there's still no way that that, that unit could win. We're going to focus all our artillery right on them. We'll get the uh, howitzers on them once they're in range of the howitzers. Got a little bit of a hill that just protected them there. But once they're over this hill, they'll be in essentially the kill range. Now we'll adjust that howitzer. Alright, maybe my cannons just suck. <laughs> yeah, my cannons just suck. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot. They got kind of covered up by the uh, carcass shot there from the howitzer. Bounced right through. You can see. Took out four men. Let's see. Yep. This is the only unit left on the field. And they're committing to a charge.
Jesus. Oh, these guys came back. That unit was completely wiped out right there. Down to five men, Jesus. All right, guess we'll turn our guns on these guys now. Bounced right over them. I missed that volley, but it took out, looks like, three men right there. And they're retreating, which I believe means that the battle is now over. Yep. Just like that, the Cherokee nations have fallen. Yeah, look at this. We lost 53 men in that engagement. Only 36 were killed by the enemy, though. Which, um, I believe that same thing happened in the last episode. It means we got a lot of friendly fire going on. Um, but we wiped out all 1,393 of their men. They had zero remaining. So, that was that. And we have conquered more territory in the name of expending, expanding, not expending, expanding the American Empire. As we can see here, a nation destroyed Georgia. Oh, that is a, a small European nation. There we go. Nation destroyed the Cherokee Nations. These guys are not happy. All right, let's repair this place. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to go with this next. Our first and objective is to conquer all territories that are the modern day United States which would mean we would have to go we'd have to get Louisiana from France um, as well as Texas here uh, Santa Fe Yanktown of the Black Hills and all of these nations from the Iroquois which would be hard because I fought them before in other games and I can tell you that they are a very strong nation as well as they're allied with the British which is a problem it's, I'm not really ready to go to war with the British yet I'm really trying to avoid it but if we don't have a choice well then we don't have a choice Let's look here at our diplomatic relations with the world. We're friendly with the United Providences, which actually almost never happens in this game. You're almost always an enemy of them. Um, and it looks like we're only friends with them and France, who is at war with the Iroquois Confederacy and the British, so that helps to a certain degree. Let's see what the British think of us. Where are they? Great Britain. Unfriendly. So they're unfriendly towards us. As you can see there, we're in the red. And they're very friendly towards the Iroquois, which is not the best. Let's see, where are the where's the Iroquois nations? There it is, Iroquois Confederacy. Unfriendly. Yeah, they basically view us the same way. With Great Britain and High regards. They're at war with the Plains Nations in France. The Plains Nations are all the way out here, right? Yeah. How'd they end up with war with them? This is all like Wilds territory. You know, you, you can't conquer it. 
That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the next turn then. All right, military advancement, new model, bayonet drill, which allows us to research the diamond formation. All right, and the workers are on strike in the Kaintuck territory. Everything's going great. Let's build that up, and we're already out of money means let's see how much we're pulling in in taxes each turn it's only six thousand uh where's we have a missionary in the kentuck territory there's still 46 percent animism so i kind of got to keep that missionary there let's hold our army commanded by nathaniel green here in the cherokee territory and just hope rebellion doesn't break out here because if it does, then this army will have to march into the Kaintuck territory. Um, we're going to build a church school here. If we went to war with the Iroquois nation, the Iroquois Confederacy, um, I'm wondering how likely France would be to actually help out in that war, or if they would just kind of sit on the sidelines. I feel like it's more likely they would just sit on the sidelines, which is why I'm nervous about going to war with them. But it kind of has to be done at some point. At some point, they're going to attack us. Hmm. Peace tree with a barbarous dates. All right. Um, Sure. They're literally at war with everybody in the nation in the world as you can see here, so let's just end that little war. I don't ever think we fought a we we haven't fought a battle with them and we probably never would. Because by the time we even get to Europe, they're probably gonna be conquered by somebody else. They like to piss people off in this game. Same with the United Provinces, but for some reason they're actually being friendly with us right now, which like I said, is a rare thing to see. They usually declare war with everybody. And we've got an open rebellion in the Kaintuck territory. Sweet. Kaintuck rebels. Well, good news is General Nathaniel Green's army is back at full strength and ready to fight. The first American army. Oh, but they're not going to make it there. Now he's gone, though, the Cherokee territory is pissed off. All right, I guess we're going to go back to the next turn. Going into the summer of 1793. We 
I'm trying to figure out a way to go to war with the Iroquois Confederacy and not go to war with Great Britain. I don't really think it's possible. I think the only way to make it possible would be for them to attack us. Because then I feel like the likelihood of them bringing in an ally if they attack us is a lot lighter than if we attack them. But I guess we're going to find out soon. It looks like Sweden just had a revolution. Oh, shit. Well, the Cherokee rebels there just went completely around my army, but don't worry. I'll be able to get in front of them. Because they did not make it to the capital. I, I'm not even going to fight this battle out because it's just General Black Fox here stands no chance with this army. Yeah, even auto resolve, we only lost 39 men, which says something because usually auto resolve kills off a lot of your men. I want to put my army back there because this is the capital, so if a rebellion is going to happen, a stronger one's actually going to come from the Cherokee territory than it would from the Tuck territory, just because this was the capital of the Cherokee nations. Uh, let's try to keep them happy by upgrading their stuff, I guess. They're about to get better roads in the next turn. Alright, alright, alright. I don't see what else we can really do for now. Oh, I... I've forgotten about these roads up in Maine. To be fair, Maine is a very forgettable place. I apologize to anybody that lives in Maine that's watching this. I forget your state exists. So if I want the Iroquois Confederacy to attack me, I need to be kind of aggressive towards them. And even then I'm going to need to prepare a pretty good defense because I don't want them to attack me and then you know, lose. I need to be able to win. And they are going to have a pretty strong military force. Alright, we acquired an agent, Daniel Alfrey. He's a Protestant missionary, and he's in the Carolinas. So we are going to send... Did that say workers on strike in Virginia? It did. They're not happy. All right. Let's upgrade some stuff in Virginia then. Because I don't want a rebellion in my homeland. So they're upset with the industrialization, people in government, and the tax burden. Well, we're trying to fight a war. So you're going to have to get over the tax, taxes. We got troops around the continental United States fighting right now. Not really fighting, but they're going to be fighting very soon. Alright, we're, we're already out of money. Because I spent it all on trying to make Virginia happy. Hopefully that works. Usually upgrading buildings within their territories tends to make the population of the territories a little bit happier, but not always. We should create an alliance with Mexico for the time being. Because I'm... Workers are in full riot in Virginia. 777 people were killed. And they burned Weaver's Cottage to the ground. What the hell? And another 751 were killed in the Kentuck Territory as they burned the meeting hall to the ground. 
I'm going to need to send. Can't send them. Let's send General Sullivan north to Virginia. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Let's repair this meeting hall. And then wasn't... Yeah, there's a missionary in the Carolinas. Here he is. We're going to send him into the Kaintuck territory as well. Because we have a church in... Hmm. Maybe, maybe we don't. I built a church here. I don't know if it's actually going to affect this territory or not. Because this is an awkward little space where we control it, but it's not considered part of the territory. It's weird. Alright, we've got 8,000 left. Let's upgrade the roads in Maine this time. Like I said I was going to do the last time. And they have an Iron Master's, Iron Master's Works. We'll upgrade that as well. Upgrade, well, I guess we can only get one, but we'll upgrade this one to a fur market next turn, which will bring in some more revenue to the nation. I wish I could have more in-depth conversations with the uh, other nations. You know, actually talk to France and say, Hey, if I went to war with the Iroquois, would you be there to help? So we got two rebellions going on. That's just great. Our nation's already falling apart and we're only a few turns in. Uh, so let's get this army to the capital. Which immediately made them better. And Florida's now. We're going to... We're going to end the taxes on Florida right now just to keep them happy. Alright, yeah, that'll shut them up. And then I guess we got to go fight another rebellion in the Kaintuck territory. I don't think they'll be able to get past me. But I guess we'll find out. Where did that other, where'd my other, there he is. Put both of them, actually no, we are going to put one of them here. Try and uh, convert them to Christianity. Which sounds kind of messed up, but it actually helps you control the territory if they're all under one religion in this game. And we're out of money again this turn. We'll be fighting two rebel armies in the next turn. One in Virginia, one in the Kaintuck Territory. Neither has the ability to actually form a new nation. It would just be a territory controlled by anarchy. The one in Virginia, we're probably gonna have to fight out because I don't think I have enough troops there to actually auto resolve that and come out with a truly favorable yeah we're gonna fight this one out even though we have a pretty high percentage of winning I'm not gonna take the chance and accidentally lose that because that is my only other army in the area if I lose that Nothing else I can really do to get that territory back for a little while until Nathaniel Green returns. And he is too busy fighting in the Kaintuck territory. We have no cannons with this army. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're just going to charge straight in essentially. Fighting militiamen, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, 
on the double. Get up there. Hey, everybody, let's go. We're going to charge up at these guys pretty fast. I don't want to take any chances. Devastating volley. They're already suffering pretty heavy amount of casualties within the first couple of volleys, which is good for us. But we are also taking a fair amount of casualties, which is not good for us. Charge these rangers. And we've already broken the rangers. We're actually going to chase down the rangers because I don't want them escaping. I don't want to have to fight them again. Just like that, their army's already falling. Now we're going to commit to a full charge from our cavalry. We're going to take these guys out. Oh, we're continuing. We're not letting them escape. Stop firing. We killed their enemy, the enemy general. And our general's actually going to get in on this, too. It's going to be a complete wipe out of this army. No survivors. That's the last man right there. Yep. I wouldn't really call that a close victory, but all right. Yeah, all 560 of their men are lost. But we did somehow lose the Cane Tuck territory, so we're going to have to retake that now. As it is controlled by complete and utter anarchy. Yeah, too small of an army to actually bother fighting. Alright, now let's patch up Virginia after this. Not great war, but you know. It is what it is. We're going to send this rake actually into the heart of the enemy territory. I want to see what's going on in Michigan. I actually don't want to sabotage. I want to infiltrate. I don't really get how he's going to infiltrate all that well. <laughs> Especially since he's going to look nothing like them. Alright. Ah, another agent. We're actually going to send him into Upper Louisiana. Upgrade that. Hopefully it's a new trade parts. Actually, let's see. Let's see what's going on with Mexico. They are indifferent towards us, so... 
I might be able to get a trade agreement. Did, so that's going to boost our income. Let's see, what's our income going to be at this upcoming turn? I clicked the wrong button. We'll figure it out next turn. Now workers are riding in the Cherokee territory, which is great. Oh, up to twelve thousand. We're actually we're doing pretty good. Got to kind of figure out a way to subdue these riots, because at some point this general Nathaniel Green is going to have to leave to go fight. And that's not going to be great. Because the people are not happy without him. Let's see, where's my rake at? There he is. No, I don't want to sabotage. Just infiltrate. Well, actually, this is going to be an undefended territory, isn't it? Which means I'm going to assume that all their military force is actually going to be right up in here. Which is good news for us. That means that they can be easily overtaken. Our trade agreement has been canceled with Sweden. Um, I'm not sure why. And we've got a rebellion in the Cherokee Territory. A new election as well. Sweet. Um, yeah, these rebels are actually going to be... The Ch I should have just moved that army to their capital. Messed up with that one. Okay. <laughs> that that didn't go well. Um, well, I'm down an agent, I guess. I don't get how because this territory is literally undefended. But all right. What to do next? Let's look at our research chain. Get this guy working on some infrastructure stuff. I need to get a gunnery school. So I'd like to get carcass shot for the. What do I have to have? No, I have to have that. Upgrade some ironworks. Well, our taking of the Cherokee Nations has not been the best. We've seen well, shit. If I don't <laughs> go to war with Great Britain right now. Um, I lose my alliance with France.
Huh. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I guess we're going to go with uh, Great Britain then. Let's let's go ahead and do this. Full send. Does this mean we went to the war with the United Provinces as well? What happened? Are they allied with Great Britain? Oh. Oh wait, did I read that wrong? I think I read that wrong. Hang on, let me see what's going on here. Diplomatic relationships. No, we're at war with the United Provinces. Oh, I am... Oh, okay. That... That makes that better. <laughs> I was not quite ready to go to war with... Uh, Great Britain. Had me sweating for a second. We're not really going to actually be doing much fighting in this war with the United Provinces unless... Unless we can get a naval force to capture their southern territory here. I don't really, I don't really want to risk it though because these nations are the pirates. Or no, it's France. Okay, maybe... Maybe I will go for it. Where's my fleet? I don't really have an army to send. So you know what? We're going to build an army. Our Caribbean army. We'll get this built in the next turn. And then that'll be it for the episode. We'll start the next episode by sending our first, uh, first army across the ocean to fight a war. Let's try and maintain friendly relations with the Iroquois Confederacy and Great Britain for now. But war is coming. We've already conquered three territories in this game. And we're going to conquer many more. Alright, we're going to need a howitzer. See, what's in this army? Two units of infantry, two cannons so far. So a howitzer, two grenadiers. Let's get some rangers in there. Going to need some more line infantry. And some horse. We're going to need a unit to hold up the center of the line as well. So we'll get another unit of line infantry. That's going to take us three turns to recruit. Then that army is going to march south to this dock. Where we've got a 6th rate, a carronade frigate, and a 5th rate admiral's flagship. They'll load up on that, and then they will be heading south. It's exciting. First battle overseas. We got some buildings constructed. How's our army looking? We're going to need a general as well. So there we go. Let's put some walls on our capital. Defend that a little bit better. Let's see, People in these territories seem to be over their rebellion. Which is good for us. So I can't support too many wars at once right now. On to the next turn. Once this army's finished, we are going to end the episode. Um, hopefully nothing crazy happens before the end of it, because I don't know how we'll be able to handle that.
at some point we're actually going to have to send an army to India. What I've learned at, after playing this game is the uh, individual that controls India will 100% be able to control this game. Because India is a powerhouse when it comes to money. It's got money everywhere. Two more units left to be recruited. Let's just upgrade some of these areas. And going into the winter of 1798, we should have an army ready to set sail for South America. Big news for our small nation. Well, it's not so small anymore. We've expanded already, but big news for our growing nation. Yes. And workers are back on strike in the Cane Duck territory. But General Nathaniel Green is still here. He's going to hold strong. All right. Let's load this army up on the boats. Recruit two units to hold that area. Load you all up. And let's set sail. Let's see. Three turns is how long it'll take. That'll be the end of this episode. If you did like it, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I think I'm going to be uploading these videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now, originally it was just Wednesdays, one week, but I like this series too much to record it so little. So I'm going to be uploading it more. In the next episode, we'll obviously we're going to start out with this fight for this territory down here. Do they have a second territory? They do. We might be able to get some more, a couple of territories out of this little fight. as well as eliminate a major player from this game. If we apply pressure to them here in the Americas, and France applies pressure in Europe, we can end this very, very quickly. Alright, but once again, please hit that like button and do subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode.